Okay. Here I am to seek opinion from people. You know if they will, if they can get married to an Indian. Join me as to seek their opinion. Thank you. Can I marry an Indian? No, I can't. I can't. I'm a graduate. Get married to an Indian. I can't. That, 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 that is too big for me. Number one, I, I, we can't even go out. We can't hang out. We can't go to occasions. I can't even introduce him to my friends. He can't speak. He can't express himself. Even sometimes we might have a nice event. He can't, he can't easily understand me when we're adding. Or like, I saw a friend, maybe a classmate, hugging him. Hi, what's up? Because he's an illiterate, he might not understand that. He might pick, a, he might pick an offense over it and quarrel. All sorts of things. An illiterate. He's always an illiterate. I can never get this. Naturally for me, I can't cope with an illiterate because I like intelligent people. I like to work with them, talk to them. When they talk to me, they understand me and they tend not to have misunderstanding. But when you get married to an illiterate, it's very difficult to cope. God, they could be caring, yeah? I could to some, to some extent, but the fact that he's rich and can take care of me, I don't mind anyways. I really wish he could at least go to school for me. Yeah. I cannot marry an illiterate, no matter how much money I have. Because I believe in the literature and education. I believe when one is educated, there is nowhere you can go to. Even if you don't have money, there are some places you will get to and you will respect it just because you are a literate person. So I cannot marry an illiterate for any reason. Whether I has money or not, definitely. Even if I get married to a literate, it doesn't have money at the moment. But soon, someday, he's going, to get, he's going to get as much money as I want him to have for the fact that he's educated. I, I think <laughs> I can marry an illiterate. Although, uh, for me, there are some bases uh, upon which I can marry someone. And most importantly, is religion. Taking that aside, uh, the issue of education, although it's very important in our society, but then marrying an illiterate does not mean that person is going to remain an illiterate forever. It simply means you can actually assist such person in becoming educated and enlightened about some ways in the society. And also adding to the fact that such person is rich, it gives, it gives the couple an edge, the opportunity to probably seek for uh, foreign education or informal education that can, that can assist them in, uh, in gathering such knowledge that even people who went to schools will not be able to, will not be able to command. And most importantly, when we talk about education, it's about the command of the English language. It's not that difficult to command the English language when you go through uh, some uh, coaching classes and when you read through text, it is very easy. So marrying an illiterate is not a big problem. As long as I can keep a balance and I can educate such person and assist the person in becoming a better person, enlightened and educated in the future. Um, to me, to marry an illiterate, uh, I can't do it. I can't. That's to me because I feel I'm I'm now a step higher than him. To me, that's what I feel. I can't just marry an illiterate. I can't read or write. I can't marry him. even if he's handsome or some other thing. I can't marry an illiterate. The people's opinion on this. I am Francis, reporting from the Thank you.